You guys ever just say, f*** yeah. it, and just like, take care of a plant? Pocket Monster, Sleepy Time, Pikachu, Jirachi, Mareep. Counting Sheep Ride, it's all about the night sky by the look of it. Pikachu's Big Moon Adventure. I'm fluent in Japanese. No, but um, in all honesty, I think it's called Night Parade. You'll see why in just a moment. Because we've got these little stands. Oh, they've got stars on them. Just like all the other ones that we've opened that have this kind of arrow base. Okay, I get it now. So this is sort of like uh, the brick road that they're doing their parade down. It's sort of arrows are all facing each other. But these also connect together. I think they're all called um, Parade. Something Parade. Um, first up, we have a little sleepy female Pikachu, as you can tell from the love heart tail, with a big pink heart. I'm definitely not a gay, but this shit precious, but this is very precious. We have 10 to collect, um, and I've, I've noticed, even though this is by Riemann, we don't have their famous apple gum. Oh wait, no, this is um, this is by the Pokemon Center. I think maybe commissioned or just straight up stolen. It's sometimes hard to tell. I think it's a little bit easier to know the Pokemon Center have done it themselves because the stuff seems a tad bit more scuffed. Trust me, Pikachu, you ain't seeing much of the night sky through this toilet roll piece of scuffed, smashed lens shit. Look at that. That is um. Not very appealing. Hey, maybe he's just super creepy up late at night, looking out his flat window over at this poor unsuspecting lady sleeping. You're foul. I don't know what these Pikachus get up to. Um, up next, we have a double up of the, the creepy Pikachu straight away. These are so average. Don't worry, I've got some um, other things today to supplement your viewing pleasure. Okay, now we're talking. As much as I don't like EV being shilled into my everyday life, this one looks like the best so far. Oh, doesn't that just look edible? That looks like a delicious gummy. And there we have EV just <coughs> asleep on a star. This is just like the most <laughs> unbalanced thing. That's bad design. What do we have next? Come on, Pokemon Center. You are not impressing me. We have another, this one's a half moon. All right, so we've got base, then we've got the present moon. And then we have a little sleepy boy who's just sort of humping the moon. It looks like a comfortable sleeping position. Mm, maybe that one's the best so far. That and Eevee, both pretty good. Here's our conga line so far. I don't know how they thought this one was going to fit in. Obviously, he's going to be looking up the asshole of the one in front. He's not in a position to be looking into the night sky, and your design makes them all stand behind each other. Actually, I guess he is kind of angled in a way to be looking at the sky. I don't really care. Enough time thought about that. We have one of my probably favorite Pokemon, Jirachi. I'm not seeing any stars in here, which might be a shame. You're going to have a star set with Jirachi and not have... Wait a minute. Okay, wait. We have... Oh, he wait, yeah, he's got a stand with three little stars. Okay, I stand corrected. This rod goes into his crippled back, then like so. These are definitely not as well made as Remint stuff. You should just make Remint do all of this mini stuff for you. All right, next one. Do we have another double yet? No, Pikachu, hand selecting a star. I understand that um, with how basic some of these are, it could come off as simple equal good. But I th it's more just coming off as simple equal bad. I don't want too many, you know, little parts, but um, actually that's a pretty neat figure. I, I don't mind that one. I reckon he is the leader. Maybe that's what this one's looking at. He's looking to nab the leader star. Oh, he's definitely the leader. He's right here in the front. I want this one, riding the Mareep. Now that is cute. I ain't gay, but Mareep is a cutie pie. All right, let's see what we get. Another non-double! He's going for a night stroll. He's got his lantern, or his candle wick. Is this actually supposed to be a lit wick? Wait, it actually, it's um, it actually does have a little face. I sure as hell hope it's just modeled after one. It does appear to be actual wax. You never do know with these Pokemon, they're crafty little devils. Next! Are we just gonna keep getting, yes! Marie! Oh, thank God you don't actually have to put it on there, it's sort of, look, he's just being sunk into the fur, into the fluff, into the wool. 
You don't have to balance him on the back. That is very cute. He's counting sheep, of course, to go to sleep. Who knows if he's really riding a Mareep? Is it just me or is its head a little smashed? I think all of them are like a little bit off. Definitely some sort of birth defects. Um, up next, we have, oh, there's only room for one leader, Pikachu. I am sorry. It ain't happening. You ain't joining the parade. All right, that's been our double. Now it's time for, it's time for Max Mofo's postcard collection. The absolute lamest segment on the show. I think we have a Mareep postcard in here. There we go. That's very fitting. Let's see what we can add. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. This week's postcard seems to be one we already have. But, seems to be a newer one. I don't know what this big thing is. Maybe an advertisement? But that's good because I think um, our other one was a little bit bent. And of course, every time I must say, these postcards are acquired on the Japanese Pokemon Center online by using your points and playing on the slot machine. They have a new postcard each month. Um, here we have an advertisement for the new movie, I think. Oh, that's kind of neat. We get a, a look at all the different rendered models for the movie. Get a whole bunch of different ones. I have... Very mixed feelings about this movie. And what the fuck is this? Okay. Okay. Wait. What? Is this a postcard? No, it's not. It's just a piece of paper. It's a shitty fucking ad. What a weird form of advertising. Oh! <laughs> it's the little holographic message card things that he hands out through Dragonite to all the trainers. Okay, that's cool. All right, that concludes this episode's postcard collection. Wait. We have another thing. Wait, what? I think this is a movie ticket. Yeah, this <laughs> this is a, a ticket to see the movie, I think. All right, let us continue on with the Pikachu Night Sky. We have a double of the Mareep. Up next, we have a double of the Peeping Tom. A triple of the Peeping Tom. Next, have we got all of them maybe? There's a chance, no, this is new. This is, what the hell is going, he's got anal beads? Christmas lights. Is, um, yeah, th this looks like a form of excruciating suicide. Don't plug it in, Pikachu. Let's talk about this. Seriously, look at his face. What else could be going on there? Next! We have a new one! Again! How many is there? I think there's ten. If this number means anything. Ditto is always represented by this kind of nasty purple shade. What is even happening? What is Ditto's inclusion here? Pikachu is up drinking a hot glass of cum. He's got a milk mustache. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, yep, he's he's just a sick, sick, sick pervert. Disguising himself as a pillow. This set disgusts me. Yeah, good one, Ditto. Super inconspicuous. And there we have it. I'm pretty sure that's all ten. That That looks like a lot. I think we have two more boxes to go. We'll see which doubles we get, unless we are missing one. We have this nasty ditto. And last of all, we have, again, full circle. Back to the female heart-holding Pikachu. This is definitely the best figure. Any that we missed? I'm pretty sure we got all of them. Now it is time for us to open up our burning shadows. Here's a cheeky code card, minus the last digit. Here is a Cosmog promotional card, and here is a Burning Shadows completely random package. Let's see what um, we can get. Here is the code card, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the darkness energy. We got a heat more. We got weakness policy, Potown, Ink, Crab Roller, Tynamo, Tangler, Ralts. We got a Crab Roller as a reverse, and then we got Toxicroak, absolutely jack shit. Better luck next time. Now, I think we should open up something else. This is a pretty big one. This is one I picked up personally in Japan. I don't really want to do a full set of these. They seem kind of strange. I thought it would probably just be a good one to open up um, randomly for another episode. They are quite large though. A little bit different from the usual figures. And there we have a nine tails with a fucking coat on or something. I don't, I don't really understand this set. I haven't really looked into it. Was this like a lab coat? Why are they all sort of draped over? Then we've got this more traditional Japanese looking ninja. I think it's a cultural set. Yeah, it's gotta be because he's got a lantern. Bunch of different stuff. Whatever floats your boat! 
Thank you guys for watching. My name is Max Mofo Pokemon. At the link at the top of the description, you can find some of my absolutely banger merch. Oh, look at it. There's hats, shirts, there's a pin in there. If you would like to subscribe, I try to post every two or three days. If you would like to check out another video on screen that does help me out, feel free to do so. But otherwise, please leave a comment or suggestion for something for me to open below. I don't just do Pokemon. And hopefully I will see you in those allocated two or three days. Farewell.